In this video, we're gonna explore some of the most famous places in Istanbul, including the Hagia Sophia and the Blue Mosque, where I received some knowledge about the Islam. That Allah sent us the Quran as the last revelation. And I finally tried the Turkish ice cream, which is famous to be served in a very funny way. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another video. Today I'm here in the most famous part of Istanbul. Which is called Sultan Ahmed Square, and we have also Hagia Sophia and the Basilica Sister, which is some of the most famous tourist attractions in the world. And right there, we have the Hagia Sophia, which was a church in the beginning, it was built as a church by the Byzantine Empire, but then a thousand years later, it was conquered by the Ottoman Empire and they transformed the church into a, a mosque. And it was a mosque until the 19th century and then again became a, I mean, like, it became a museum. So, and now, recently in 2020, they again turned it into a, a mosque. So here there's like a ruin from the times that Istanbul was still Constantinople. We have this tower here. Maybe it was like a wall protecting the city. And right here we have the Hagia Sophia Church or Hagia Sophia Mosque or Hagia Sophia Museum as you want to call it. Some like to call it as a church, but some people like to call it as a mosque. Like right now it is a mosque definitely, but it was built as a church in the times that Istanbul was a Christian city. So this is the tramway and you have many stores on the other side, touristic stores and right there. Hagia Sophia. And here also we have the Blue Mosque, which is called Sultan Ahmed Mosque. It's one of the oldest here in Istanbul as well. Whenever you look here in Istanbul, you can find a mosque, maybe one mosque in every one kilometer. And right behind me, you have another one as well. And this is a huge square. I think this is the, maybe the most famous place, one of the most famous places in Europe and one of the oldest as well. To have these beautiful trees here, beautiful pine trees. So right here people can wash their hands. I don't know if this is drinkable, if we can drink them. I don't know if it's clean enough for drink, but I know they use it for washing hands and feet. We have another guy right there making a video. Maybe another digital creator or something. Here we have some souvenirs. There's Jesus Christ. I believe these are paintings inside the Hagia Sophia. Hagia Sophia is such an architectural masterpiece and it was built in 537. It mixes two styles, Byzantine and the Ottoman. There's a big dome and pretty mosaics from the old days. Later, they added tall towers called minarets. It is special because it's a mix of these cool styles from different times. So now let's go to the line, which I believe is kind of fast today. It's going pretty fast. And the entrance, as of now, is it free? It is free, I mean. And before it was paid because it was a museum. But now it was transformed into a most so entrance is free for everyone. So after we passed by a security screen, you can enter now. They are very strict to like what you are carrying in your bags. But here we have as well more ruins from the times of the Byzantine Empire. So as we enter the mosque, the ladies need to put like a hijab covering their hairs. 
as you can see, many ladies now are wearing um, like a cloth, even the tourists and even the non-Muslims. And you can see all the building was built by these bricks. And here we have like a maybe it was a font or something. And look at this floor, this stone. It's very very old. So right here we need to remove our shoes and leave them here as we go inside. You cannot step in with your dirty shoes from outside. Alright, so I'm gonna put mine over here for seven. Okay, and here we go inside the mosque. Huge. And on the ceiling, you can see that still have some paintings, like some Christian paintings, as you can see. And all over the floor, you have this type of carpet, which is very soft. It's really comfortable. To walk in and here we have more places to put shoes it's really really beautiful so on the ceiling you have many paintings Christian paintings like right there you can see maybe it's an angel and here as well, and here. but they put this Arabic Islamic here. You can see these beautiful chandeliers everywhere. And here we have some formations in many languages, things about Islam and Prophet Muhammad. And you have in many languages, it's probably Czech, and this is Russian, but I cannot see my language here, just Portuguese. Okay, I found this in Portuguese. It's explaining about the Quran. This one is the original floor. It was built by stones, different stones, and after it became a mosque, they put this carpet. And right here you can see, here, there is a painting of maybe Mary or Jesus Christ or another important figure for the Christians but they are trying to hide as you can see they put like a cloth in front of them they didn't remove but they try to cover it so right here we have and right here we have the men's section men, uh, the place of worship for the men. And for the ladies, is in the other side. Now let's go to take my shoes back. I hope they're still there. It's right here, 47. Oops, not here. Here. Now let's explore more here. I believe they have some other paintings. And on the ceiling you can see 
And it's all gold, gold paintings. So this is like a mosaic wall, and right there we have the famous painting. You can see Mary, or Maria Menarbek, you can see Jesus, or Isa, for the Muslims. And it was made by the Byzantine Empire. So here behind me we have the Hagia Sophia, and just in front of we have the Topkapı Palace Mall, which is a huge palace that was built by the Ottoman Empire. And you can see that goes all the way near to the seaside over there. And you can see these beautiful um, writings in Arabic, which is really hard to read. So this place looks very new actually, on my right side. You can see these constructions, it looks like European. And on this side we have the wall of the Hagia Sophia. This place is actually very beautiful. You can see many shops here of souvenirs and jewelry. There are beautiful ones as well. And it's a very steep way. We have some bars built in the old walls. <laughs> Wow, this is so close actually. Okay, I'm gonna try to cross now. I hope... I hope I don't get fined or something, because in Dubai, if you do this, you get a huge fine. And on this side, you have many options of things to buy as souvenirs and food, clothing, we have carpets, pretty much anything. This is the entrance. Oh, this is actually a tomb. There are people who buried here. So we've got many sultans that were buried right here. And these are like the tombs of the sultans. Here you can see Sultan Ahmed, maybe son or because it's very small. And the big ones maybe are like the most important ones or something like that. So this is actually a tomb. I hope they are really here inside. I mean, their bodies. I hope this is not empty, actually. Mm. Okay, guys, so this is the entrance of the Blue Mosque. So this is the square in front of the mosque. And we have many trees over here. It's a really, really um, peaceful area. Actually, really, really windy, and it doesn't feel hot. It's actually kind of cold. Everyone is actually going with shorts. As you can see, this guy right there, and there are many other even ladies. And wow, it's huge. It's really huge here. Okay, let's put it right here. <laughs> so this is the Sultan Ahmed Mosque. It's kind of smaller than the Hagia Sophia, but it is very beautiful as well. And this was like always a mosque. It wasn't a church before as the Hagia Sophia. The interior of the mosque has patterns of blue ethnic tiles with supporting colors such as green, red and gold. It is decorated with art from the Ottoman period and other art from the 20th century. And here we have some Islamic informations, Islamic literature. We have the Quran in many languages. I believe it's not the translation, but like explaining the meaning of the Quran. So this is like the explaining of the Quran. 
and I found it in my language, which is Portuguese, I found it here, and it seems like it is free. While I was vlogging inside the mosque, this nice gentleman offered to teach me about the Islam and their holy book. I guess you brought the book. Probably, probably you realize Louisiana. that in the mosque there is no any picture or any idol or anything that yeah. yeah. the God. They believe there is only one Almighty God. Yeah. And this Almighty God, this Almighty Creator, is not something that you can draw a picture or idol or image. Is, uh, we are believing for all the prophets from the world. We believe that from mm -hmm. Adam and Eve up to Prophet Muhammad. Allah sent us many messengers. There was Prophet Noah, Prophet Abraham, Prophet Moses, David, Solomon, Jesus, and after that Allah Prophet Muhammad. We believe all these prophets wrote us the same message and the same revelation. When people lose the message, when we lose the original message, Allah sent us the new one. We believe there was book of Abraham. And when we lose it, Allah sent book of Moses and his book. And after that, when we lose this book, Allah sent David and his book. After that, when we lose it, Allah sent Jesus and his book. After Jesus, we say, happened the same thing. Then Allah sent us the Quran as the last revelation and Prophet Muhammad. With the same message, with the same religion. Okay guys, that was, so that was a beautiful explanation of the Islam and the Quran and the Prophet Muhammad. Um, that gentleman just explained like everything for maybe almost one hour and um, it was very kind of him to explain to me and now I'm gonna go out of the blue mosque. Look at this very beautiful. Okay guys after this visit to the mosque I feel kinda hungry. Ah. Thank you. Okay guys, so right now I'm gonna try to get a Turkish ice cream. It's really famous here in Turkey. The guy like plays with the balls of the ice cream and actually there is one right here. I'm gonna check how much is it and how it works. Hello. Hi. Yes, brother. Where are you from? I am from Brazil. How much? Brazil. I from video. Yeah. For oh, just a second. Wait, it's locked here. Okay. Yeah, that should come. Shabo. That should do. Didn't check. No. That's right. Oh, Munai. Hey, Abba. Hello. Yes. <laughs> Samba, 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 Oh, yes, please. Oh, 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 please. It's actually very nice. Thank you, brother. Thank you. What's the flavor? Uh, vanilla, chocolate, lemon, bubble gum, and the strawberry. Oh, okay. So here the. 250 liter. Welcome. 250 liter? 150. 150. Yes, ah. Hello? It's very creamy, actually. Dualipa. Just a second, just a second, come, come. Dolipa! Uh -huh. <laughs> he just called that girl Dolipa. I don't know why. So after this delicious ice cream, I decided to check the store to see what kind of products they have. So they have many types of soaps and some Turkish delights as well. And many types of nuts, 
and you can see this Brazilian walnut for 2200 Turkish Liras and they got also saffron from Iran which is one of the best in the world and it comes in different sizes such as 12 grams, 25 grams and up to 1 kilo 12 grams costs 2700 Liras which is around 90 US dollars and the 40 grams glass costs 17800 Turkish Liras which is insanely around 600 US dollars 